The terms sample chopping and MPC are synonymous. In this video, I'll show you why. For this demonstration, I'm going to take a sample from the Raw Crates expansion pack. And we're going to create a traditional hip hop beat. We're going to take this loop, double click on it, import it to our project, and go to sample edit. Now there's a couple of ways that we can chop this up, but I'm going to show you the traditional way of chopping it up on the MPC. For this, you're going to go to chop menu, and on chop two, you're going to choose regions. And here's where you can be a little bit selective, where you have 16 regions or eight regions, and you want to keep it divisible by eight, basically. So this is 16 regions. I'm going to play the pads on the Akai MPK Mini. And basically what I'm doing is I'm triggering each pad on the downbeat. Okay. So once I'm happy with that, I'll click on new program, click do it, go to the main menu and I'll find that program here. That one key thing to note is the BPM of the sample, which is 82. So for this sequence, number seven, I'm going to use 82. Change the time division from 16th to eighth notes using my MIDI controller. And let's record a two bar sequence. Here we go. Now you can flip this a number of ways. So this is, this is just the traditional way of doing it. If you wanted to have a variation, we can do the same. So let's go ahead and select all, delete, let's try a different idea. So because you have the flexibility of sample chopping and because each one of these is already assigned to a different pad, you can rearrange the order of how it was initially played. Now, if you combine that with modern VSTs, you're going to get those classic old school breakbeats into your modern music production. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.